Light? Why would I need a light for my monitor? My monitor already got light, what? So, apart from sending us a monitor to review a while back, BenQ has also sent us this interesting little gadget. This is the BenQ Screen Bar e-reading lamp. So if you're that kind of person who enjoys working in dark rooms or spending long hours in front of the monitor, this thing supposedly helps to protect your eyes from getting roasted by the screen. But why can't I just buy any normal desk lamp and plonk it on my table if I need it? It's so jungle, meh. Yes, of course, you can buy any traditional desk lamp unless it can automatically adjust the light accordingly to your surrounding and easily clip onto your monitor like BenQ claims. Perhaps you want to sit through my review. So, first thing first, let us unbox this thing together. So, out of the box, you can see that there's a total of three items here, which is the clip, the power cable, and the light itself. Everything is clearly labeled, and if you really mess this up, I have nothing to say. And now, I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. First, take your mount and your lamp, hook it in, give it a nice twist. Give it a start, and then Insert your USB-C cable here and mount it on your monitor. This clip comes with counter wave mounting system. Best part, easily adjustable, doesn't block your monitor, doesn't leave any mark, and your thing doesn't go away. Like and ta-da! So, I'm sure that you guys know that our eyes have muscle just like most other body parts. So when there's too much light, our pupil will contract. And when there's not enough light, it will expand. So if your surrounding don't have just the right amount of lighting, your eye muscles will be constantly straining to adjust, causing fatigue and tired eyes, which I'm sure that most gamers and office workers have felt it at some point. Now, the BenQ screen bar doesn't just have 14 levels of brightness to choose from. It also has 8 temperature levels ranging from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. So, you can choose from warm and cool light depending on the time of the day. Research has shown that warm lighting at night is less strenuous on your eyes and helps you fall asleep more easily afterwards. You can control the brightness and temperature with the first two buttons located on top of the screen bar. Okay, so while the buttons are very responsive, you'll find that instead of going from one end to the other and starting from the very beginning, it is going in an opposite direction instead. It's also not super clear when you reach one end of the spectrum, so it does take some practice to get used to it. Or you can also use the screen bar's main feature, the auto dimming function. It uses light sensors to detect the amount of light in your current environment and adjust the illumination accordingly. All you have to do is press the third button located right here. And ta-da! You can see it adapting and adjusting immediately. It will automatically set the brightness to 500 lux in normal lighting conditions and 300 lux in darker environments, so you won't get blinded by extreme contrast. However, you do have to take note that it's not a toggle. You can't just press it one more time to go back to your previous manual setting. You have to tap either the brightness or the temperature button to do so. And the last button over here is the power button, which is pretty self-explanatory. So, does it really work? I mean, I'm not a scientist or a eye care specialist. I can't prove to you whether it works or not, but I can share my personal experience. After trying it out for a few days, I can really feel that my eyes are less tired after staring at the monitors for hours and hours, which is basically the only thing that I do nowadays. Uh, so much work. Uh. But apart from that, it's also nice because this little bit of light lets you do some reading or writing without having to turn on the ceiling lights or screen thing half to death. And it looks really cozy and romantic as well. So, why buy this instead of a normal desk lamp? Number one, it says space. Instead of taking up a chunk of space on your desk, this thing can sit on top of your monitor easily and not thaw thank you if you have limited space. Number two, it's USB powered. So you can just plug it into your monitor's USB port or your PC or even a USB pass-through on any of your peripherals if you have one. So convenient. Number three, no screen glare. 
The angle of this light is damn soon one. It will light up your whole table space without reflecting off your screen at all. Unlike table lamps, you won't have to keep adjusting just to get the perfect angle of lighting. Your normal desk lamp can or not. Even if you screw in a smart bulb, you still need to open your handphone, press the app, select color, set sunset timer, and all. Ah, it's so fun. Although the screen bar doesn't work on laptops, it should work just nice with most monitors as long as the screen itself isn't too thick. Even though I haven't tried this on the curved monitor yet, but I think it should be able to sit nicely as long as the curvature isn't too curved. Huh? Where to put the webcam now that the screen bar is blocking leh? Like this lah, yo. Anyway, if you want one for your laptop, BenQ does have a separate model just for that. But unfortunately, you can't get it in Malaysia yet. So, buy or no buy? Well, if you value your eyeballs and have 599 ringgit to spare, this is definitely something you'll need. It saves space, provides the best lighting for your environment, the design is super sleek and cool, so it will definitely fit perfectly on your desk setup. If you want to get one, you can head over to the link in the description box. Each BenQ screen bar comes with a two-year warranty, so you don't need to worry about your investment. See? Nice? Bye la, say how many times? This is Christina from Salty News Network, and I hope you guys enjoy my little overview of the BenQ screen bar e-reading lamp.